Hi, it's Annette here. I'm so happy that you joined me. I am creating this beautiful floral card using the Pinkfresh Studio Blushing Floral Cling Rubber Stamp. I'm stamping with my Misty to get an even finish. I used the Premium Imcube Tidal Pond to stamp the outlines of the flowers. This floral background image is so intricate and really beautiful and the cling step has really thin outlines. So I stamp my base with the Tidal Pond dye ink, which color is really similar to the alcohol markers color I'm using to color the image. It worked really great because the lines stayed crisp and didn't mesh when I was coloring over it with the alcohol markers. I'm choosing colors that fit the new fall collection from Pinkfresh Studio, The Days of Splendor. I want to use the 6x6 paper pads for my card base. I'm using shades of rose and shades of blue-green. I'm starting with the darkest color at the bottom of the leaves and the petals. After that, I'm continuing using the lighter colors and blending the shades together. While coloring, I realized how important it is to keep the markers in order, so you always pick up the one you want to use. So I started with the darker colors, and as the petals and leaves are really small, I didn't spend time coloring one petal at a time. I colored all the petals on one flower with the darkest color, and then continued with the lighter one, blending in together with the color before. I think this coloring technique is really easy. You just have to look where the petals meet and there is a little shadow, so you coral there with a darker marker. When coloring with the lightest color, I left a little white area at the very top of the petals. This gives a really nice highlight to my coloring. I colored in some flowers with brownish colors. I wanted to have some more interest with having different colored flowers, but close to the original. It is like a couple of flowers were older, losing their vibrant color. For me, it's coloring like a meditation. I can listen to music, but I can also let my brain slow down. You can rest your thoughts while coloring. And the best is when you're in a flow of creating, you just forget about time and don't notice anything around you. Just enjoy the process. I think this is so, such a great feeling. Now I leave you to enjoy my coloring a bit. I'm speeding up my process. Now I'm finished with coloring 
and I fussy cut the whole image. I took a lovely design from the 6x6 paper pads for my base. I cut my card base to the right size and I also cut a sheet of vellum to soften the background. The design of the paper gave me the idea to cut my colored image in two diagonal. I must say it wasn't easy to cut in this beautiful colored blushing floral image. And I also had to cut out a strip from the inside so that the image fits on my card and I have a little gap in between the two sides. Uh, this is the place where I put my sentiment in. I stamped my sentiment, sending lots of love, on a scrap piece of the same cardstock. The sentiments are from the Simply Sentiments Hello stamp set. I used foam adhesive to adhere the florals and added some sparkling jewels off camera. I created another card with the same coloring style but in different colors and I cut the image in the middle and I put the straight edge to the upper and to the lower edge of the card. The sentiment is in the middle here too. I hope it inspires you to create some cards with these beautiful supplies that you can find under the video. Feel free to ask any questions, I'm always so happy about your comments. See you next time. Bye.